So where'd that five minute thing come from? Five minutes. <laughs> That's always on Cronkite. Always, always did that. What's that, what, Jimmy? What's that, Jimmy? Yeah, huh? What's that, Jimmy? I didn't hear you. I said that that was uh, for Cronkite, you know. Was, uh, I would always be a big five minutes, which uh, was loud enough so that everybody could relate. You know, and within five minutes, we go to work, you know. And uh, so it got to be that way. <laughs> And it spilled over in the other shows that I was doing, and yeah. so on, which, which was good. But I, I, I started uh, being loud on those calls from uh, the theater because I was when I was assistant stage manager, I had to call Nine, the times. Six and a half at home against the rain. And, uh, the rain the theater, everybody lived, yeah, not lived, but they had dressing rooms upstairs. And maybe five, six uh, flights, and uh, I couldn't couldn't keep work, uh, walking. Joey, thanks, babe. Couldn't keep walking that five, uh, five or six uh, stairs. So I stand down at the bottom and call off time. Bottom of the stairs, and you know how, how the theaters do the stairs very know, steep. You know. When these guys get to the pros, they look like how many years cool. you've been doing that? Oh, I, I, I stage managed my first Broadway show in 1952, which was a wholly different situation. The Broadway Theater, which is still there. Yeah. Well, what was the show you worked on when you first came here? Here, uh, I did sports, football games, right. and uh, Cronkite. Uh, because I, I, I joined staff at CBS in 1960, 1961, I think. I'd worked work for CBS before, though. So I, did, I worked a lot for him as an actor. Because I, I, I was on the Goldbergs, uh, which was a show based on Jewish life. And uh, uh, I, I, I looked like a kid next door and yeah. so on. And Walk that shit. Yeah. Give me, excuse give me, me $60 excuse an hour and I still wouldn't yeah. do it. No, it's hard work. Yeah. Well, what was, um, what was your... Um, you worked here at CBS a long time. Yeah, yeah. And you ended up acting. Oh well, I was an actor. I was an actor. I was I was an actor before I joined staff here. I was because I did a lot. Did a lot. A lot of uh, uh, television. Television was first starting, but I was I was a Broadway uh, actor uh, early, long before all of that. And uh, when I joined C CBS as staff, my first show as staff, first real assignment was the Captain Kangaroo Show, and which I stage managed it for six years, and uh, finally persuaded them to, that they needed a, a, a black actor on the show. Because so for the whole six years that I was stage managing it before, I didn't. Never saw one black actor on the show. And I told him, I said, you're doing a, a show that's uh, indoctrinating our young American children. I said, you got to show them how life is in America, for real. And um, so after six years, Stage managing, they came to me one day in 19, 1968, which was a very memorable year for a lot of things in television. You know, they, uh, they said, Jimmy, we're going to take your admonition and add a black actor to the show. So I said, Give me a shot at it. They, they thought I was strictly production. You know, and then I didn't. I was always production and performing, because I started in, in 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 the business, 
as a dancer. I was a tap dancer. And I danced for years with, with the team, you know, worked over at Vaudeville and so on. And I think the first show I did for CBS as an actor was when Bill Robinson, who was a very famous black tap dancer, he, he used to teach Shirley Temple. He did a lot of things with her in those days. And uh, when he died, they wanted to do a salute to him, and he did a special dance on, on the stairs, up and down the stairs, dancing up and down. And, I, and I'd been around Bill for a long time, and it copied, you know, you, 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 you'd copied in those days. There was, there was no, no, no uh, studio to learn tap dancing. You had to learn from another tap dancer. And so I had studied him and, uh, and uh, copied his stair dance. So when they did the salute to him when he died, I did the stair yeah. dance for CBS in the Sullivan Theater. It wasn't the Sullivan Theater. Then Ed Sullivan at that time was a, was a, a columnist, wrote a group. A daily count. Well, you count. already promised. You said you promised. And, uh, what was the dance? So what's the stair dance? The dance, stair dance, a set of stairs, a set of stairs, small set of stairs, about eight steps up and about eight I, I steps you, down on the other side. And you bike, tap dance right? on the stairs then, going up, which was very difficult. It wasn't easy. Didn't Nicholas Brothers make that? Uh, no, no. That was Bill Robinson. Oh, Bill Robinson, which uh, Shirley Temple. Yeah, that's right. He's, yeah, he's the right. 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 And uh, so that was the first, I think that was the first show I think I did for CBS. As a, and then I started doing bits and pieces for the moon things. What's your, so, um, what are some of your memories that you still have with... Um, yeah. About your experience. No, you promised here. it. Whoever you here at the that stick out in your mind, yeah. With, at C with well, CBS, your relationship between CBS and you. And yeah, well, uh, I, I told you I did the, the Goldbergs, and uh, then I did a lot of studio. I did a lot of st okay. Studio One, which was oh, a big, so big show in those like days. And gradually, I ended up doing a, uh, so a lead opposite Marine Stapleton. On Studio One as an actor, and this, this, these were the old, this is the good old days, as they say. Oh, and, yeah. And that's during better. that period, yeah. because when I, no, it was just when I first joined a, CBS as an actor, which was in 1961, I think it was. And, Walter Cronkite was just well, was just really getting the started bike. then because I remember stage managing Cronkite over in Grand Central Station. Did the show from there. It doesn't matter. Fifteen you minute show. And gradually went from fifteen minutes to a half hour, I think, and then came. Uh, eventually came over to 524 West 57th Street. Do you have a story about you and Walter? I no, I, I, I did, I did, uh, it's very I did most of Whoever the major things he was doing then. I, I stage managed, like the, the moon shoot. I'll, I'll never forget, we are down at Cape Canaveral. We'd gone down there, I went with it. And uh, the big memory I have was the a couple of the astronauts and some of the right, wheels right? there who was Except running the, the boom shot. And, and uh, they came in and told Walter, said, to because he, was, he did a lot of research on anything he did. And they came and told him, says, no, you would like to see what the guys are going to do and go through and so on. And uh, so they came in to take him for a tour of what was going to happen. And as he walked out the door, I called him and I said, Walter, can I tag along? He said, come on. Yeah, no, you <laughs> and, I, and I went with him on, the, on that tour and so on and went and got in the limb, which was, went, yeah, I got in the real limb. Went uh, upstairs and I, I was astounded at oh. how high up 
That was from the from the ground. That was about 20 stores, 18, 20 stores or better. I don't know, but anyway, I did that and I, I, uh, I uh, went with him on all of the all of the moonshots that were done. Jimmy Holland said.